and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for all future content. Over the last couple of weeks, we have seen quite a few videos come out regarding Chris Sabat, Jamie Markey, Cara Edwards, where all these people are literally pretending to be VM's friend. Well, we have a video today which... It literally shows Chris Sabat being the biggest douche and it actually shows why VM thought that they were friends. This was actually taken at a convention a couple of years ago and we're going to play it in a moment but once we watched it we're going to have a little chat about it and then we'll just go from there. So this is the video. It's all voiced for you now. Oh yeah. This is war. This is absolutely war. As you can see, Chris Abat is literally being like, oh, here we go, you know, my head's ready for you now, VM. Yo, kiss my head, go on, it's all moist for you now. And that just shows how much of friendship that he thought he had with Sabat. That's just wrong. That's horrible. These are the people who came out and said all of this. And how embarrassing is the one who actually posted this clip? And this is what they have to say. Sabat, kiss my bald head, V. It's all moist for you now. Let's do it for the fans as he laughs and giggles as he sits next to Todd and V. Sabat, now. Vic's the worst person on the planet. Then you wonder why V thought he was your friend. Yet apparently Sabat was full of it. And that just shows exactly what type of person he was. And it's absolutely horrible to see that someone who thought all these people were his friends, they all of a sudden just decided to backstab him. That's, that's just horrible. That just, it gets you right in the feels as well, because when you think about it, excuse the, uh, the fro, it's, it's not very nice when you see someone who thought these people were his friends. You know, he's laughing and joking with them. He's messing around with them on stage at conventions. And it looks like people are having a great time. Then all of a sudden, whatever happened, they all just turned against him. Like that. And they've all come out and said he's been doing it for decades. So how come all these people were friendly with him for, the, for that amount of time? You know, what happened last year? No one will truly know what happened. No one will. None of us. No one ever will. Like I say, you know, I keep saying it's a he said, she said, and none of us were there. Only V was there, along with the person whoever's saying whatever they're saying. And we've seen it in Monica Riel's deposition, where she said one thing, but her affidavit said another. And also Stan Darlin's affidavit said something else as well. When you have three things which are completely different, you've got to think, right, something's a little bit odd here, something's a little bit fishy. Because you've got the person here who is accusing this person of whatever crime they supposedly done, their affidavit and their deposition are completely different. And when you have someone who was mentioned in that affidavit and they come forward and they say, yeah, none of that happened, then again, you got to be thinking, hmm, what's happened here? You know, where's the line drawn? What's happened? There's been some kind of miscommunication or something. But what we're going to look at again now, we have another video from How Embarrassing, which he's on fire today, I must admit. And this one is, well, we're going to put the tweet up. Someone needs to muzzle Kara. Given this did not make any of them look good. Being this, verify Sabat intruding into people's lives, as Stephanie, etc. was saying. Plus, this is letting Funny know they did zero work for hours on end while banking in those hours for a big check. Funny should know. And this is what the video is. <laughs> Those were fun days though, man. There was, there was a lot of, uh, I, I miss it. I miss it because it's, I miss sitting around and just getting to know each other. And, and we knew everything about everybody's personal life. Like Chris Sabat had to hear about every guy I dated. He had to hear about every like, you know, and then he did this. And then, I mean, it was just crazy. And they would make fun of, oh gosh, we had so many jokes. They would make fun of us like crazy. And he had all these awful nicknames for me and he would like call them out in the middle of sessions. And oh, gosh, those were fun days. Um, 
I, I do like the tape process. I remember it being very slow and very painstaking. And um, so we would take a lot of breaks. And back then, everybody smoked. I did not, but a lot of the like directors and stuff, they smoked cigarettes. And so they would take these cigarette breaks all the time and they would use it as their excuse. And so um, it felt like every half hour to an hour, it's like break time and breaks would last forever. And um, we had no supervision. And so we would like get into these lengthy conversations. I mean, sorry to whoever's like, you know, the Funimation gods are going to come and like, like empty my bank account or something. But we worked for so many hours where we did nothing. Like we just sat around and talked and like, it was crazy. Um, so yeah, when I compare the old days to how it is now, now it's like, and, and now like we care more. I mean, I say we cared then, but it was more about this. I was young and I just thought it was like cool to hang out with like the cool kids. And so um, now when I come in, I'm like, no, I really want this to sound good. And so like, let's do that take again because I want it to be better. And, and, um, and it's so much faster and it's so much more um, regimented. We're not going to sit around and chit chat. And <laughs> now you go two hours before you take a break. <laughs> Well, there we have it. We have Kara Edwards talking about all the mean and horrible things that Chris about used to say to people. And she even admitted it right there. Even in that, she says herself, they knew each and every person's secrets. They knew everything about everyone. And they all had little secrets and they all had little dirty nicknames, horrible nicknames, according to Kara Edwards. And that just proves everything we've heard in the past about Chris Sabat is true. These people, the ones who keep going on about all this thing now that's happening, and they're like, oh no, this hasn't happened, that hasn't happened. Well, Kara Edwards has just said it has. And that's just really, really funny because that just shows how hypocritical all these people are. Sitting around, doing nothing on hours and getting paid for it, is it? That's what she seemed to have said. It's literally Funimation was getting they were getting owned by him, literally. Sitting around hours on end, not doing any work and getting paid for it. Maybe Funimation should look into that. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see all you wonderful people soon.